I tell somebody that I'm from Hiram Johnson, they're like, oh, I heard that's a bad school. And they'd be like, isn't that a really bad school? Well, and only bad students come in here. In this school, we've had a lot of negatives. It's good, like, why are you there? Like, you have so much potential to be somewhere else. I feel like the media just, like, picks out whatever favors them and whatever's going to get them the most views. Everyone in our school aren't, isn't actually what the media is saying, that we're bad students, because we're not. When there are school shootings, they're always there. Like, let's say there's 20 fights, there's like 20 fights here and like 10 people get hurt at Johnson. They're going to just come running in, right? But why didn't the media come in? Last year when we had two kids uh, going to like four-year universities, that's why we had one go to UCLA and one go to Berkeley. Since I've been here, I've been definitely paying attention to my afterlife of high school. And so when I see stuff like that, I'm like, well, that could affect my future a whole lot, whether it's the way I respond to it, whether it's the way I just walk away from it. Knowing when you see that stuff, it's just like, are you serious? Like, I just try and not let it get to me or when I'm with my friends. I tell them not to really engage with that because everything comes back to you in your future. It, it comes back. Recently, we've been working to a lots of positives. We're here to learn. We're not here to just participate in other stuff like game banging and stuff like that or ditching us. Being here, I just see so many people like drive to want an education. And we actually had staff that end, ended up caring about us. Like our principal, he's new. he was new last year, but he's changed so much in our school. And like, let's say our field, for example, we changed that along with him. Like all the students came together and we went to, down to the school district and we all stood up and demanded that we should receive a new field. Other schools that like are more rich than us and um, they have better students and it's better there and everyone should attend that school, they get brand new fields all the time. They get new jerseys. Before our new field that we were so lucky to granted, somebody said, like somebody from another school said that they thought our, our home field was a graveyard. My freshman year, um, I was pretty shy, actually. Because when I was a freshman, I hated coming to this school. Like, my junior year, I was like, dang, my freshman year, did I even think about college? Or anything after high school? When I first came to the school, I did not know what I wanted to be. When I was a freshman, I used to be, like, really shy. I would pretend to be someone I wasn't in order to, like, fit in. And, like, throughout the years, I kind of realized that this is not the person who I want to be. And that, you know, it's all about the journey. Like, it's not about them. It's about you. Um, joining ROTC and joining JCBA, both of those academies like really changed my life. It's changed me as a person and like it's just made me stronger mentally and physically to where like I you know, like small things don't affect me anymore. My freshman year, I didn't come here, but I'm from a town where you don't we're not provided ROTC, JCBA, HMS. So when I came here, I was shocked. I was like, wow, this is like pretty sweet like they're providing this to us to be prepared for our career. Well, I didn't have any goals I was confused I just wanted to go to school get things done and just go straight back home with nothing else to do nothing else to worry about and ever since I came here teachers and staffs and students they all share their experience and ideas with me and it's kind of inspired me to look for something that I wanted to do. One thing that our school has actually done is we actually um, go out and help the local community one, the academy that I'm in, JCBA, we actually help out the community with their taxes. Um, our law academy um, help, does a lot of community service events. We are educated. We are going to be educated. And there is always a struggle in each student. We can make a change, and I've seen it happen at our school. People who actually have a plan to do something after high school, you know, not just, you know, oh my God, we finished high school. Thank God that we barely passed, you know. We are the, the leaders of tomorrow. We're diverse, we're unique. Although we can be immature and, you know, loud, we're, we're still learning. And yeah, we've had some negatives, but we're really working on that. And look at us right here. Like, we're trying our best, and we're working really hard to get to where we want to go. I'm now ready for when I get out of high school. I've definitely noticed things that made me want to change the direction I'm headed. I came to my senses that not everyone is going to have a sports scholarship. Dad, my mom told me that there's not just scholarships for sports. There's scholarships for anything, and that honestly changed my opinion. 